All right, guys, welcome back to Smoke One. If you have one, my name is Eric, and today we have a review uh, that's sponsored by no other than Working Man Cigar, Roger. He also have a YouTube page. I will leave it in the title and the description if I can. And we also have a podcast that we talk about anything and everything, including cigars and anything that happened in the world and fucking fuck Lee Mac. But yeah, um, he's a great friend of mine. Uh, we kicked up pretty hard and I really, really enjoy his company, you know, and uh, yeah, he sent me cigars. I sent him cigars. We just have a good friendship going on. And it will last forever because, hold on, let, let me go to the side and light my, no, just kidding. Because he have to hide in the corner of the light cigar because it's windy, uh, excuses, you know what I mean? Because he don't want his wife to see him. <laughs> but yeah, um, to be honest, he's a great friend and he's sending the cigar and I'm going to review it. It's the El Subtimo Empress of Sheba. This cigar... It's a big old cigar, man. I hope it tastes good. If it doesn't, oh man. It's the Empress Collection, Geneva. I hope it tastes good because it's a big, it's a big boy, man. Uh, yeah. Now let's take a closer look at it. All right. Here's the cigar. So the cigar is an MSRP for $20. Wrapper binder filler is undisclosed, so we don't know shit about the cigar. But yeah, I like I like the band though. I like the band work. It's nice. It's catchy. It's like purple, blue, blue, purple, bluish purple mixed gold. Yeah, and I have a bitch in front. I love bitches. Just saying. But yeah, good looking cigar. Since 2003, so this company is very new. Age, Empress of Sheba, five years, age five years, okay, not too bad, not too bad, alright, boy this cigar is huge though, it better be good, she better taste amazing, she better have the best vagina I ever smoked, just saying, alright, now let's cut it and light it, alright, let's light her up. Take out the foot band. I like it. I like the presentation of Elsa Pino actually. But I did have one in Miami. I didn't like it. Me and Tony was in a lounge. We picked one out. It was, eh, you know. All right, now let's cut her up and see how she tastes. Nice clean cup. The cold draw. <laughs> A wide open draw. <laughs> oh crap. Yep, she just like right there spreading her leg like, yeah, baby, I'm wide open. Holy crap, man. Damn, Empress of Sheba. She just, you know? But nothing really on the cold draw. Yeah, there's nothing. All right, now let's light her up. Stop, babe, yo, late. Look at my face and what did you see? I know you like, yo, like. I know you shitting me. What did you do? This you said that it wasn't your intentions. I know you were your decision. Baby, don't try to pretend. Huh. So, I keep saying how big she is. She's a 6x60 Gordo. Yeah. Earthy sweetness.
plenty of smoke output. <laughs> As expected, because all the crap that Cole draws is like you literally throw a hot dog in the hallway. Feel like you've been around, <laughs> you've been stretched <laughs> by like a the lunatic 10 by 100 or something. <laughs> And the retro hell, there's a little bit of like spice, but very little with earthy leather on the finish. More earthy than the sweetness, than the spice. And a woody, a sweet wood finish. So far, not too shabby for this few first puff. But this game was earthy on the retro well. But the pella is wood, sweet wood. Okay, not too bad. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the first third. All right, guys, welcome back. It's not bad, burn. It's pretty good. The ash is pretty nice too. Except for it's exploded over there. I have no idea. But okay, so the flavor, kind of good, kind of good. Oh yeah, this is the Maduro one too. Keep forgetting all this information, you know. They have a nice milk chocolate finish, a sweetness on the palate that just lingers as well, even it's gone. It's not like a chocolate sweetness, it's just a nice natural sweetness like honey. Yeah, honey. And the retro hell. There's a spicy sweetness as well. This cigar is sweet. It's nice, I like the flavor. Spicy sweetness with a little spice, pepper, you know. I, like a white pepper and then it goes from white pepper to sweet right away. It's like way them all together. It's like white pepper, sweet, boom, all together. I actually enjoy this cigar a lot. El Satimo, Empress of Sheba. I gotta try it because I, I forgot which one that I tried with Tony that wasn't it wasn't hitting the spot that night, but it might be just that night. But yeah, so that's all she wrote. The earthiness is still there, the little bit of leather, but it's not like overwhelming. It's just there to linger and then go away, and then the sweetness sweetness kick in sweetness. Kicked in very early, very quick after, like right, the earthiness and leatherness is very short, then the sweetness kicked in very quickly. So, yeah, and have a finish of a chocolate, milk chocolate. Pretty good. It's not overwhelming, like, you know, a whole bunch of like flavor all mixed up. It's like, it's consistent with those sweetness, those sweet flavor, which is good. It's a sweeter cigar with a little spice on a retro hell. I enjoy it a lot so we see I take this down all the way to the second third and then we gonna come right back look at this ash look at this burn line look at that band all right she all right guys welcome back we're at the end of the second third. I gotta take off this beautiful band. I like this band a lot, actually. But yeah, here's the band. Here's the check. Mm, yeah. But, um.
the second third didn't change much from the first third except for the sweetness has receded and the earthiness a little bit of dankiness come through now like a musty mushroom kind of like an aged tobacco uh, you know barnyard kind of note that came through the sweetness laid back earthiness go up front a little bit leather more and on the retro hell sweet caramel cocoa on the retro hell the spice is totally gone which is interesting you know it it's like almost the same but it's not the same so it just kind of flip flop but one just go recede and the other one just go forward but it didn't really kick the palate like crazy like it didn't transition like you know oh my god it's just like a whole different no it actually kept the same note just flip flop which is fine i enjoy that yeah if you want the sweetness right now that that puff right there with the retro hell it had a little bit of lemongrass as well but the spice i don't know what happened it's totally gone and that's it for the second third i see you guys at the end of the cigar all right guys welcome back we're at the end of the cigar so musty dark coffee on the last third uh dankiness the spice still very mellow but it's there there's still the sweetness but the dankiness have ramped up a lot a lot more darker note like the earthy the leather note is up front but it's like a deep dark one but even with a lot of earth and leather there's a dark coffee that go through and just take over those notes as well it's like really ramp which is very very good very enjoyable steak not too bad it's consistent of what it's doing at the same time though there's like it, it, it add it doesn't you know uh transition to like a crazy thing but it just added like a few note here and there and that's it though Overall, it's a good cigar. I like the dankiness. I think I'm gonna like this brand again. So Roger, you're doing good, my boy. You're doing good. Keep sponsoring me. Thank you very much. Roger's a great friend. But yeah, <laughs> he's a, uh, I love his video. It's long, but I watch it. All of it. Maybe more than once, just saying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I support him all the way. Um, but yeah, this cigar is coming from him. It means a lot, you know. I don't want to smoke them, but then I don't want to keep them forever either. I have to review, and, you know, let him see what my thoughts on it. Because that's what I would like to see. If I give people a cigar and stuff like that, and if they have a channel, or something like that. I would like to see the, the thoughts on the cigar. But yeah, overall, good cigar. Not bad. <clears throat> you know, I didn't have to go in the corner and hide to light my cigar or anything. Because, you know, I'm not scared of my girl. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I would rate the cigar from 1 to 10. I would say 7.7. 7. It's a good cigar. I like it. I like it. But man, like I said, she's wide open. She's like, whoa, baby, just go right in there, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Good pr smoke production, good burn, great ash, good flavor. And that will be it for this review. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And go check out Roger, Working Man Cigars. I will put this uh, channel on the title and in the des description if I can. And like I said, we have a podcast. Go check it out. Everything will be in the description as well. And that'd be it. Peace!
Oh, dark coffee. Yeah. <laughs>